Microsoft Excel has made pulling the newest data ridiculously easy. The Excel take function allows you to pull data from the top or bottom of any given range automatically. It's perfect for dashboards, reporting, or any list that grows over time. Let's jump in and take a look at how the take function can help streamline your efforts to pull the newest data. So open in front of you, I've got an example file that I'm gonna to use to demonstrate using the Excel take function. I've also made this file available for you to download so you can open it up and follow along with me and practice utilizing the Excel take function. This file is called Excel take function hyphen zero one, and you'll find a link to download this file in the video description just right down below. Make sure you download it, open it up, and you can follow along and practice the take function with me. And while you're down there, if you enjoyed the video, you learned something new, make sure you hit that thumbs up, the like button. I appreciate that. That lets me know that you're enjoying the content and would like to see more content like this. And if you haven't already, make sure you also hit that subscribe button so you get updates about new videos that we add to this channel each week on Excel and other Office applications. All right. Let's take a look at the take function. So inside of this workbook, I've got a single list called sales, and I've got a nice little table here. You'll notice that this table, it's all about sales information, but I've got a date that the sale took place. Now, what I'd like to do is I want to pull out the 10 most recent sales from this list. So in the past, we might get in here, make sure our list is sorted by the dates, right, in ascending order. And I might come down here and say, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, there's 10. So I'll highlight that. I'll copy it. I'll paste it somewhere. Uh, that's a bit of a series of tasks for us to go through. And it's not very dynamic. Next week rolls around. I want to grab the new latest 10 records. I got to repeat that process. Find the 10 records, copy, paste, and so on. Well, in steps, take. So here, I'm going to jump into cell F4, and I'll, it's a formula, it's a function. I'm going to type in an equals, and we got take. There we go. It takes potentially three arguments. We're going to use two of them. The first one is the array. Where are we pulling the records from? So here, I'll grab from A2, Control-Shift down arrow to grab that A column, Control-Shift right arrow to grab the rest of the list. So A2 to D31, there's my array, comma. And the next thing it wants to know is, well, how many rows do you want from there? And where do you want the top rows or the bottom rows? Well, I want the most recent sales. And because my list is sorted ascending by the sale date, I'm going to say I want negative 10. Negative because I'm pulling from the bottom of the list. If I wanted the oldest 10 records, right, or the top 10 records, then I would say just 10. And I would pull from the top of the list. That's it. I'll close the parentheses, hit my enter key, and there's the most recent 10 sales records from the list utilizing the take function. Now, how quick was that, right? Take, where's the range? Give me how many records you want from the top or bottom, and you're done. Well, let's, let's give you a little bonus here. Let's take this a step further. Well, what if I jump into here and I got the... Another record in here, we'll say we got Mickey Mouse, and Mickey Mouse is doing something with microphones, and sold $500, okay? Well, that didn't get pulled into my list. Well, the reason why, if I go back to cell F4 there, it's pulling from a literal range, A2 to D31, and that's all it's going to pull from. Well, Mickey Mouse's record is in row 32, so I'd like to make this more dynamic so it updates every time records are added to this list. Well, in steps, the dot notation for a range. I'm going to change one thing inside my formula here. Instead of going to D31 as a hard number, I'm going to say dot D1000. Potentially, this list is going to grow, maybe up to 1,000 rows. I don't know. But utilizing the dot right there, and then bringing out all the way out to D10, D1000, the function is going to pull the content that has or the cells that contain content all the way up to that 1000 row. I'll hit my enter key, 
And here's my latest, all 10 records, all the way down to Mickey Mouse. And if I put in another one, we'll say Donald has come along and Donald is doing something with uh, computers and sold $1,000, it updates. I've got my 10 most re recent records with Donald in there. So make sure you try this one out. Pretty simple, the take function. So that's it, the take function. You specify the range that you wanna pull data from, and then you specify how many records you want from that range. If it's at the bottom, we'll say negative, and how many records, I want the top 10, negative three, I want, or negative 10, I want the top three records, negative three, or I want the records from the top of the list, then we'll do positive numbers. Give me the, the, the records from the top for 10 records, or 15, or 20, whatever you're looking for. Take the array and how many records. Make sure you download the file and you're trying this out, right? Practice is where it's really gonna start to, to snap in for you. And especially if you start applying it to something that's relevant for you. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get updates about new videos that we add to this channel. I'll see you in the next video.